Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you remain in your seats at halftime as we honor legendary coach, Denny Crum. Now, please turn your attention to the video boards for a special tribute. On April 17, 1971, the city of Louisville met Denny Crum, the Cardinals' new basketball coach. And young Denny Crum in his first ever Final Four. By now we know this habit would grow at Louisville. The non-core performance in the 1975 Final Four. I had yet uh, to accomplish what I had set out to accomplish here because I wanted to win a national championship here and I thought we could do it. Now Denny Crum looking for his first national title and he would get it by beating UCLA. Well, the stage was set for the final race to the wire. The last chapter in one of the most exciting college basketball races in history. feeling of relief that, hey, can you believe it? We are finally uh, going to win one of these things. And so, Billy Tucker, without question, we have the two finest teams in the land battling for the title. Now it's a free throw for the national championship. And Louisville and the Cardinals have won the national championship. Denny, how does this one compare with your first one in 1980? Well, I'm, I'm a lot happier, to be honest. Last time, there was so, seemed to be so much more pressure that uh, it was hard to relax and enjoy it. But I promise you, I will definitely enjoy this one. Coach Crum and members of the Cardinals, congratulations to you all. You can all be very proud of this accomplishment. You reached for excellence in the tournaments, and you grabbed hold of it. Now that you've placed me here among those who have played and coached the game with great success, I am honored and humbled beyond anything I could have imagined. I don't even know if I have the words to express to you how, how I feel right now. But I want you to know that I've always said you're the best fans in the world, and, and there's no question about that. All I can say is, is that this is, if it's not the best, the nicest thing that's ever happened to me. It's, it's so close to that that I'd have to say it's right at the top. I love you all for Thank you so much. Wow. That can go right there. <laughs> if you see something interesting right here, oh, is the name the hall after you. And well, that's wonderful. <laughs> I appreciate it. You better get started. <laughs> We're here today to break ground on Denny Crum Hall. I made the decision a long time back that, that I was going to stay here and give back to this university what it, 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 it had given to me. As we look to preserve and carry forward Crum's impactful legacy, U of L and KFC Yum Center have permanently changed his seat in the arena from red to black, a gesture similar to that bestowed on one of Crum's mentors, John Wooden, at UCLA. The seat will be marked in his memory, displaying his name and the image of his iconic red jacket. Now, please turn your attention to section 106 as we unveil a lasting tribute to the great Denny Crum. We are honored to be joined on Denny Crum Court tonight by coaches, family, and dear friends. Please welcome his longtime assistant and friend, Judy Cowgill his son Steve and daughter-in-law Libby, his daughter Cynthia Abney, his daughter-in-law Megan, and his wife Susan Sweeney Crum. Once again, please show them our appreciation with a huge round of applause.
Now, please welcome Denny's wife, Susan Sweeney Crum. Thank you. Well, um, it seemed like a great idea when I said I would speak, but it's harder when you actually see all these people here, see all of you, and see the seat with the flowers and his basketball. But um, I know this is a great honor for us, but it's a greater honor for Denny. I want to thank Josh Hurd and all of U of L and all of U of Athletics for doing this. It's a great tribute, a great honor. I know if he's watching up there and he's probably a little embarrassed, he, um, despite all of his success and his accomplishments, he was just a regular guy and um, he didn't like a lot of attention, but he loved you all. And one thing I wanted to make sure I said tonight to you is that this dedication is as much for you all and because of you all as it is for Denny. It's your support, your die-hard, unwavering support all those years while he was coaching that made him successful. You were able to be part of it. If you were at Freedom Hall going to those games all those years and you went to, yes! <laughs> You've been here all those years. There goes my bracelet again. You've been here all those years. You went to away games. You went to tournament games. You went to championship games. So thank you. It's, it's your support that helped make this possible and make his success possible. And saying that, your support is just as important right now for Coach Payne and his team right now. You all are what can help make this team a success as well. Keep coming out to these games, keep cheering these guys on. They're playing for you. We love Kenny, we love the teams, we love all of you, and just thank you so much for loving Denny as much as you did. Thank you, Susan. Now let's hear it one more time for Coach Crum's family and the legendary Denny Crum. Somehow I 